in the last video we were in Simi getting our tepi, our transit log stamped into the country and of course trying to get some good shots from the bus we sat out Meltemi winds at Pedi at the small marina there was power and water it wasn't free but it was okay then we managed to get away get a little bit of sailing in around to the other side of the island where we visited a museum at the monastery where pilgrims had left all sorts of gifts for the church. The church itself was very small and actually quite dark inside but we managed to get a little bit of video, it really was quite pretty. Of course there's a lot more in the video. Last time we actually had six bus journeys into the main town of Simi from Pedi. We tried everything we could to try and get some decent shots but these were about the best we came up with from inside the bus. The windows were fritted and it was really difficult to get a good shot through the fritting but hey ho. This is the harbour at Pedi. It's very pretty and very peaceful. <laughs>
Well, after um, five nights of sitting out the winds here in Simi, actually in the uh, in the Bay of Pedi, we are finally going out to sea. And of course, now the wind has completely stopped. But there we go. That's life in the med, either too much or not enough. Really nice, got a transit log sorted, got stamped in the country, all done. And now we're gonna go and explore the rest of the island. I'll show you what it's like. Oh, this is a bit unexpected. Well, we got uh, 6.7, 6.8 true wind at 72 degrees. We're doing 3.3. We could go faster. I've got the uh, sails just lazily set. I haven't trimmed them at all. We probably could in 6.6 do something like 4.2 but we're just coming through between the bottom of the island of Simi which is that one there and the three islands which are off the bottom of it well there's actually about six but uh, there's two fairly big ones this one here you can see this little one here there's another little one the other side and then about three little islets I'd call them possibly even rocks sticking up there's some um, there's a white house up here I don't know if you can see it it's just where my finger is now hidden behind some trees and a some kind of building right at the very top um, yeah I won't be climbing up to that in this glorious sunshine it's um it's about 40 degrees on land at the moment which is normal for Greece this time of year so um, that island out there is Rhodes that's the tip of Rhodes behind this island is Turkey sorry what am I on about idiot that is Turkey this is Simi this is the islands at the bottom of Simi that is Rhodes or Rhodos yep we slowed right down I better do a bit of sail trimming otherwise it'd be yesterday before we get there It wasn't that far around the island and we managed to get a bit of sailing in here and there but where we were going this tiny bay it was spectacular Panormitis or the Bay of St Michael again somewhere unbelievably pretty it really is picture postcard stuff just what you'd expect in the Greek Isles that was it the GoPro froze again Arrgh! pretty shallow this side look deep enough out there to take the uh, touristy boat that's us over there met some subscribers yesterday came over and said hello is ever out to walk their dog We decided to walk round the back of the town until the tourist boat had gone.
That'd be 10 o'clock then. Apparently this is the tallest freestanding Baroque tower in the whole of Europe and possibly the world. It's very pretty. Under the arched facade there are a number of rooms. You can rent them out. Well not exactly rent. You leave a donation to the monastery that you think is fit. That concept would have never paid its way at Billy Butlin's holiday camp. There was a small bakery set off in one corner on a local artist who was displaying his works, wares, just outside of the bakery. Some of it was quite good stuff actually. We then headed for the church and the museum across this pebbled courtyard. Three, three euros. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was just one euro fifty each. Somebody's model boat collection here. Why would they have crocodiles in here? Look, over there. <laughs> Apparently, all of these artifacts have been left as gifts to the monks and the monastery. From these, the monks have created this small museum. Clock's a bit slow. I don't think it's a dress. Yeah, Is that what they call them? That looks old. Windmills there though. Oh, it can't be that old because it's got steam. Look. I think they'd ask someone to leave an air conditioner, wouldn't you? <laughs> the museum had extremely low light and it was difficult to get some decent shots with the GoPro. more of this floor that's the church amazing we'll uh, show you inside everywhere we looked the ceilings were highly decorated like in this archway entrance Now let's take a look at that stunning bay. It's a great anchorage.
Next time we say goodbye to this stunning anchorage and despite the calm of the morning we do actually get some decent sailing in. I bet you three English pounds that that powerboat there with the American flag on it is from Delaware. What do you reckon? Who knows? I'm on a I'm on the lookout for turtles. And I bet you, if you've got a map and said point to Delaware, where your boat is from, they couldn't tell you. Camera, but there's there's ants on the fence making their way up to something up there. Oh yeah. Twenty smallest ants I've ever seen. God, it is hot. Yep, it's hot. Once the tourist uh, boat had gone, um, it calmed down a little bit. Not quite so many people's hours to do this floor. We make these videos for you and it's thanks to our Patreons that we're able to keep making videos. Please like, subscribe and share our videos with your friends or people you think might be interested. It doesn't cost you anything to do so and it really helps us to keep making more videos. Even if you're subscribed, please go back and check that you've ticked the bell icon. We've heard recently that YouTube has been deleting some of our subscribers without their knowledge. So just check. Thanks for watching guys. And if you really like our videos, you can always buy us a beer over at PayPal or become a Patreon. And don't forget, there's over 250 other videos on YouTube of ours. And there's also our other channel, Your Drone TV. Don't forget to visit that too. The link's in the description. As always, sail safe.